The most dangerous ocean crossing in the world is from South America to Antarctica. 600 miles of the most treacherous and unpredictable waters on the planet. Drake Passage. Right now, six elite athletes are attempting to survive Arctic cold temperatures, wind storms, and 40-foot swells in a rowboat. We're about five days out from launch. We're here in the uh, warehouse in Punta Arenas, Chile, where obviously the rowboat is here. It's really exciting to uh, actually see the boat here. The reason we're here a week early is there's all sorts of odds and ends, you know, things we got to sort through before we can actually launch this boat safely and successfully. It is believed that in ocean rowing, at least, the most difficult path is the path to the start line. Most ocean rowing expeditions, they fail actually on that path, not on the expedition itself. Does it mostly look like everything that you yeah. expected to be it here, looks like, here? It looks like everything. I can go through, I, I went through my head, now I'll go through the list properly, yeah. like looking at the documents. Do you want to line one of these with a plastic bag? It's never going to be in a stuff sack the entirety of the expedition. Right, 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 right. Right? Right. Do I have that right, right. in my right. mind? It's not like it's getting rained on while you hike. It's just going to come out right. and then it's going to live out for 20 days. Every one of these is attached onto safety line onto the boat. From the safety line, it gets attached onto the life jackets around here. So when you go overboard, you're always attached to the boat. By tomorrow, we'll have everything in place and safety will be no issue. But we're just making sure everything, everything works and everything's safe. Then it goes here, right, Vic? Oh, yeah. Exactly. yeah. OK. Yes, yeah. yes. Sweet. Being here physically and being a hold of rows again, it's just really making everything real. This is something we've been thinking about for a year and a half, and it's, it's right now, it's right here. All of this is about to get put in the boat. Of course, one of the most crucial components is the food. We've got chicken and dumplings, Mexican adobo and rice. Uh, we got some scrambled eggs, you know, a little bit of everything. It's not fancy, but there's a limited amount of space on the boat, um, and so it's got to be as tight and contained and compact as it possibly can. OK, we're good. Uh, should we start packing it up? We're putting stuff on the boat. We're putting stuff on the boat. Yeah, it's happening. I am very nervous. There are many forces higher than us that we will never be in control of. But I'm also super excited because I'm looking forward to finally shaking the hand of, uh, <laughs> of this god of the ocean, yeah? We are packed up and ready to roll. Tomorrow we uh, head down to the Braveheart, load that on the uh, supervising vessel, and uh, before we know it, we'll take that thing down to Drake and it's time to row. So between right now and when the guys actually launch off of Cape Horn, we've got a number of things to go through. So the boat is currently at the warehouse. It needs to be taken to the wharf. I take all these expeditions just one step at a time. So rather than getting carried away and thinking about the finish line or thinking about Antarctica or thinking about the inevitable storm we're going to face in the middle of Drake Passage, right now I'm focused on getting the rowboat onto Braveheart. So once it's up, who's going to go on the tag launch? I'll probably better go to the right. Right here. That is a very big step. That rowboat on the supervising vessel, the amount of logistics that it's taken, that in itself is like the impossible logistics for the impossible row. Where's the chops? Matthew, stop it. You're pulling it in. Peace out. Don't push out. Come on, Neil. OK. Yep. Starting to feel very real seeing the rowboat actually on board the Braveheart. Um, it's just in a really exciting moment after so much hard work to get us there. So, yes, the impossible row, it's happening.
This is a very unusual piece of uh, ocean rowing equipment. It is custom made and tailor made. So it's not only specially designed for rowing uh, body mechanics and movement, uh, but it is also tailor made in terms of uh, matching our bodies, following 25 different measurements of each of us. So it's really an artwork. Essentially the same concept as putting on a wetsuit, except it has a little bit more room in the middle to, to move around, a little more flexibility. If we go in the water, we are warm and safe for up to, to six hours. You know, most of my previous expeditions have been solo, so it's kind of fun to be with the team, you know, be all in the team uniform today, really feel like the cohesion of the team coming together. You obviously all look the part now. They look, they look pretty cool. Are we smiling or serious? I think you're going to ask for both. Yeah. Each day that, that we're here, the closer that we get, we're, we're getting tighter and tighter as a group too, which I think is really important to making sure that we're successful on the trip. So after this, we're going down to the harbour and then we're going to practice our capsizing test. We'll get fully capsized and it's the first time we can test out the suits in the sea. Yes, possibly we will capsize. Maybe we will capsize three times. It's not the horror of ocean rowing that everybody dreads and I want our team to feel secure that the boat self rights, that we are fine to capsize. We're about to do a practice capsize. All going in the drink, make sure that the boat self rights the way we anticipate it will, and to make sure that we're comfortable falling into the water and dealing with our emergency gear. Today we have gusts up to 50 knots, but we still will do it. This is a reality here where we are. Here, we're going. Yeah. Yeah. Test went great for capsizing. I, took, I wanted to test whether my harness would do its job, clipped in. As the boat did a full 360 barrel roll, I actually went with the boat, which meant that by the time it righted itself, I was already 70% back on board. Great day of uh, doing exercise. I feel ready. Yay. Yay. I thought that worked great. That worked well. We'd like to do that every day, if you don't mind. <laughs> Say that one more time okay. for the camera to those guys. We <laughs> off. Nice. Yeah, Mr. O'Brady. What's up? How are you, sir? Good, good. So I've been aboard the Braveheart, you know, seen the cabin, seen the layout of the kitchen and the bathroom and the community space. It's sparse and I think it's going to be a wild ride, but it's going to be an exciting place to view the entire expedition. We're on the supervising vessel down the Beagle Channel, then we launch from Cape Horn. The Impossible Row is happening. Follow the expedition in real time on Discovery.